during. You might think, what is bike during? Well, it's cycling with a dock attached to the front of your bike. Uh, you need a mountain bike, uh, one that's just a sturdy one. It doesn't have to be ever so expensive. And you need a bike jaw arm. Uh, and you can see on the video that uh, I'm just putting my bike jaw arm onto my mountain bike, making sure it's securely fastened to the frame. And then you need um, a line, a bungee line, which you can see mine's on set on the floor, which I'll be attaching later. Um, a helmet is advisable and um, of course a dog. And before you start, you could do with really teaching your dog um, a few commands so that you don't get pulled in the wrong direction. Uh, they need a command for to to go to start off you can just say go left and right um, steady is a good one uh, or if you've not got a husky you might even get a stop <laughs> here we have a close-up of uh, the bite jaw arm there's a loop on the front where the uh, line goes and then it fits round the handlebar stem of your uh, mountain bike securely you don't fasten the line to the loop you fasten it to where my fingers are now so there's a line this is not what i normally use this is my neckline but it'll do for now i can't find it which was not to been out for a while so right it's deciding to move so it's attached to this which is attached to the dog and player's ready right we're about to start. We're going to uh, put Freya on the front in a minute. We've just got across the playing field and uh, round a few dogs. Hopefully, there shouldn't be too many dogs about to distract Freya. And I hope you can hear this because I'm talking through my helmet. But uh, I think we'll wait till we get to the bottom of this hill and get on the on the flat, and then. Uh, will attach her and I'll start the camera on my head. Play is quite good, she'll uh, just uh, line out for me and wait till the start and you tell her to go and she's off. So she's uh, pretty good but if it comes to uh, you ever want to race uh, after they've been racing a while they uh, get a bit excited on the start line and you sometimes have to have somebody to hold them. Uh, my two collies, uh, we now have to have two people, one on each dog, um, where at one time they just sit nicely and uh, till you told them to go and then that was it, they were off. in handy that they know the left and the right because when you get to junctions uh, especially the tight ones they need to be able to turn otherwise you end up in a big pile Like on this turning we're just about to come up to um, I shout right 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 which makes a turn quite sharp but she didn't turn she hesitated and then she got it but she's not used to doing this area we know this is where she normally runs free and uh, I normally bike during a different uh, wood so uh, and she's not actually been on the front of a bike uh, since this time last year
thing you have to be aware of is squirrels, cats, or in a pointer's um, mind, pheasants, or a pointer's nose. Uh, so she's not really too bad with squirrels. Um, she's worse now than she's, she used to be. Uh, I think the collies have been teaching her how to chase them. But uh, it's pheasants. She had a pheasant smell and she'll just stop dead and point, which we had on one of the hills. So it, um, you've just got to be aware, you've got to be watching the back of the dog all the time uh, because sometimes she'll just stop to shake for no reason. Uh, and if you're going full, pile, full pelt, um, you can be into the back of her. So it's a bit of a juggling act to watch where you're going and watch the back of the dog all the time. You never take your eyes off the back of the dog, otherwise something will happen. Um, I've had that in races. Um, I just took my eyes off the, off the back end for two seconds, um, actually to glance down because I thought my bike had not changed gear. Um, and as I looked up, she decided to stop and shake. And that was it. Pile up. Not that she got hurt, it was my, it was just uh, the line and uh, my uh, bike that uh, kind of piled all, tangled all up. So she was perfectly fine. Wanting to get into uh, bike drawing, we uh, have uh, quite a few clubs around the country. Um, there's Canny X, there's Canny Cross Midlands, which do Canny Cross and bike drawing, and uh, there's one or two others. There's quite a few up in Scotland, so it's um, quite easy to get into, and there's quite a lot of races, and you don't have to be very good. You don't have to be very experienced. There's novice classes. Um, and you don't have to go mad, you can just trundle around. Right. We have a lady right. who's got a little tiny dog go. that um, she rides, just trots it along in front of the bike and she's uh, quite happy and the dog's quite happy and they don't go so fast but they enjoy themselves and that's what it's all about. interested in doing bike drawing I'll uh, put a few links to different clubs and any other um, information that uh, might be useful for you uh, at the bottom of the page. This is the last stretch into home, uh, so I'd slowed her down, told her to be steady, and uh, we just uh, trotted along uh, down this long path uh, heading for home. And right at the end, see if you can see the cat. Watch out for her speeding up. You always know when she's seen something. No, no, there she goes. No. She's seen the cat. Go on, go on, go on! This is where your commands come in handy because uh, otherwise you'd be in the bushes and it has happened to me before. <laughs> 